God bless you today. We are reading, continuing to read Psalm 119, starting in verse 41. Let your steadfast love come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have an answer for him who taunts me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your rules. And I love how the word of God says here, that I shall have an answer for the one who taunts me. And this isn't just people who taunt, but also that how the enemy taunts and says, just like he said to Eve, that did God really say that taunting voice that gets you, tries to get you to agree with the opposite of what God has said, the opposite of truth. There's a taunting voice that comes at us um, sometimes specifically in the night season in the, and in the fit, literal nighttime that tries to get us to question everything the Lord has said and who he is and his promises. And so when we remain in the salvation and the steadfast love of the Lord, then we'll have an answer to give to that taunting voice to shut it up and shut it down and say, no, you're wrong. This is the truth. And take not the word of God utterly out of my mouth for the hope that we possess the only hope we have is in the word of God and in what the word of God says about who he is so that's where our hope is found so we need to continually have it in on our lips and in our mouth I will keep your law continually forever and ever and I shall walk in a wide place I just want to speak that over you today that the Lord will lead you to walk in a wide place, a place that there is peace, a place of wide open spaces. For I have sought your precepts. I will also speak of your testimonies before kings and shall not be put to shame. For I find my delight in your commandments, which I love. I will lift up my hands toward your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember your word to your servant in which you made me hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, that your promise gives me life. So we, just like the Apostle Paul instructed Timothy to do war with his prophecies, to do war with the promises spoken over his life, the psalmist is saying that the, the promises of God that have been spoken over him are the things that bring him comfort when he's facing opposition to those promises when he's facing affliction and when he's and those are the things the promises that the Lord has spoken give him life in those wilderness and afflicted times the insolent utterly deride me but I do not turn away from your law so those people that hate the psalmist that hate this man of God um, and the ones that come against you when you're walking in the way of God the, the word describes them as insolent and they utterly deride you. Meaning they, the, if you are walking in the way of the Lord, those who come against you with false accusation and attack after attack to attack your character and to attack the way that the Lord is taking you, you can like the psalmist know that they are insolent in their way and that they hate you and hate your way because it's actually their hatred for the ways of God. When I think of your rules from of old, I take comfort, O Lord. Hot indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my sojourning. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and keep your law. This blessing has fallen to me that I have kept your precepts. So remember the name of the Lord in the night, in the literal nighttime, if you're tossing and turning, you can't sleep, or the enemy is harassing you with worry or fear or shame or doubt or, de or depression or despair or even suicidal thoughts. When the enemy comes at you in the night, remember the name of the Lord. And if you struggle in the night hour with these harassing type thoughts, then ask the Holy Spirit before you fall asleep. Say, Holy Spirit, I would, I need you to remind me of who you are and to actually put the name of the Lord on my lips when these attacks come. So I just want to bless you with that and say, Lord, I want to bless 
all those who are listening. I want to bless them with the peace and the wide open space that comes from walking with you and bless them to have the name of the Lord on their lips and the promises of God as their weapons of warfare when the times of affliction and harassment come. They will be victorious and rise up in Jesus' name. Amen.